Hi everyone, this is a follow video because I made a Cinebench uh, thermal testing video and I showed some settings but apparently I forgot to turn on my mic on my shadow play settings so I turned that on but one of, one of the issues I notice is if I'm recording using shadow play and I'm trying to speak along with the game sound itself it will always mush my sound for some reason I'm looking for maybe there's a setting where it's aggressively trying to tone down my voice because it's giving priority to the game sound itself but I'm not really sure but anyways so what what I want you guys to do is go to Regidet so type this as a shortcut go here and this is nothing to be worried about so what you guys need to do is uh, let me grab my mouse look for local machine then look for a system current control set control scroll down until you see power and then power settings and further down look for this number 5433251 by further expanding it go down then look for B E three three seven two three eight and then go and change this attribute the default value will be one change this to two so once you do that what happen is if you go to your power settings and whatever plan you're using doesn't matter but if you go and look for advanced settings and you switch to processor power management this is the new setting that will unlock and you can see I have changed this to efficient enabled and efficient aggressive and this will actually bring down the temperatures on Ryzen laptops because I think Ryzen the latest one especially the 5000 series they're very very aggressive and that's where the temperatures are going up so if you change this uh, the power management for the CPU actually becomes less aggressive and that results in better temperatures so I think this is the setting I'm using as of now and this is a big feedback from one of the subscribers to the channel that why don't you check this video out and follow these steps and see whether they can actually help you so based on my settings my CPU has never gone above 85C in games and my GPU has been hovering around 74, 75 and in most cases it's around 70C uh, but let's see I will be doing more testing but these are the steps so just check the video description for all the steps I will just copy paste them in the same video again and I hope you guys find it useful so over in and out like the video and like and subscribe